We have watched along with you at home this week as hundreds of Canadians have been paying their respects to former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney. So the funeral will take place at Montreal's Notre Dame Basilica tomorrow. Now the public won't be permitted to attend that, but it is expected to be a major event. There's a shot of it there. Uh, officials are already warning of road closures and a large police presence across the city and to expect that. For more this morning, we are looking at how Montreal is preparing uh, is CTV public safety analyst Chris Lewis. Uh, Chris, good morning. Good to have you with us. There have been, good we morning. know, reports of potential protests planned during the funeral. In terms of surveillance, what is the RCMP and other police services looking and listening and watching ahead of tomorrow? Well, good morning, Emery. We certainly, as Canadians, would like to think that we would allow the Prime Minister's family and friends and dignitaries to honour him. Uh, and, and kind of peace and quiet, but uh, with the protest world that Canada's facing, well, the whole world's facing right now, particularly around the Israeli-Gaza uh, situation, uh, there may likely be uh, people at least attempting to have their moment in the sun and, and get their message out uh, via the intense media coverage that we're going to see here. So Montreal Police, obviously, it's their city, but they're going to be assisted by the RCMP and the Sûreté du Québec. They'll be monitoring intelligence, monitoring different websites, watching the protesters they expect may try to do something, and trying to create a buffer between them and the actual funeral itself through road closures, through a uniform presence around that church and more. The location of this funeral uh, is part of the reason that the surveillance has intensified because there were demonstrations between pro-Israeli and pro-Palestinian groups. Uh, those turned violent, we know, earlier this month. So there was that court injunction that banned pro-Palestinian demonstrations outside of certain Jewish community institutions, and it was extended. But that wouldn't apply to the Basilica, that being a Christian facility. So how does that complicate security efforts? Well, normally we don't have those court injunctions anyway when we're dealing with protests. So that was a, a unique situation in Montreal. I don't know that the Montreal police were, tried to enforce that injunction because of the civil court uh, injunction versus criminal. So, so ultimately, I think that's the last thing in their mind today is the injunction issue. It's really creating that buffer to make sure the dignitaries potentially from all over the world uh, Prime Minister's past and present, Premier's past and present, their security teams, the media, the right people have access to the facility and the right people uh, are safe in terms of how they, uh, they grieve today and, and honour our Prime Minister. Yeah, the state funeral is going to be attended, we know, by high-profile figures including hockey legend Wayne Gretzky uh, and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. So if you were part of the team organizing security for a funeral like this, what would your biggest concerns be around safeguarding those individuals? Well, it'd be getting them in and out of the church safely yeah, because, you know, regardless of any buffer zone or large police presence outside, uh, people have to come and go. And so that's a big part of it. The security teams for the dignitaries will certainly be working with the RCMP and uh, their officials here. But just the, the normal person that wants to get up and, and uh, yell and scream uh, in, where camera and audio are, uh, that's hard to prevent. But you, they're, you're going to see a real large presence trying to do that today, to prevent any international embarrassments, but more importantly, people from getting hurt in any way. So what would be your best advice then be to Montrealers who have to work or travel or, or even tourists because it's right in the heart of old Montreal that are going to be around that funeral site tomorrow? Well, I think people just need to stay away and, and let the process run its course and let the family do what they have to do to honor their uh, their loved ones. So, you know, like any funeral, you, you, you'd like to think Canadians would just stop on the street, let it pass, not go and try and cause any kind of turmoil. Uh, but that remains to be seen. So Montreal has been a hotbed for these protests, and so hopefully that won't occur tomorrow. Fingers crossed, but I'm sure they have many plans in place, very robust plans to keep that from happening. Chris Lewis, we appreciate your perspective. Have a good weekend. Thanks, you too, Anne-Marie. And a reminder to you at home, CTV News has special coverage of the state funeral for Brian Mulroney. That will start at 9 a.m. Eastern on CTV. It will be on online as well at ctvnews.ca. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.